Thanks for checking out this unboxing video. This is for a soggy uh, a, a March pop culture band box. Um, yeah, soggy. I already took all my like information off. I had to scratch it because the sticker was so wet. But look at this. It's dried a little bit since I brought it in, but the whole top was just like pretty wet. So there's supposed to be a Funko Pop, a signed Funko Pop in this. I think they said they were going to do it with a protector. So hopefully it's already inside the protector because uh, that would help. Because otherwise, maybe I have a soggy Funko Pop box, which would really suck. Uh, although I am excited about the idea of the Funko Pop in here. Um, U.S. Postal Service. If you've watched my other unboxings, you've seen issues with like legitimate damage on these boxes, and it drives me nuts. U.S. Postal Service, pff, doing some crap. Uh, although the person who delivers my regular mail has done a really good job. Things, the per person who's been doing my packages, and it is different people, has not been doing such a good job. So um, if, you saw, if you saw my horror unboxing for March, you'll know that this video is going to be a lot different and a lot easier for me because my horror unboxing, I was all juiced up on Novocaine. I had literally just had a filling done. Feeling way better today. That was just yesterday. So if you want to see that interestingness, go check out that video. But the, just check it out in general. So let's go ahead and get into this box. Uh, I will say up front, they're going to be doing an additional signed Funko Pop for the April uh, pop culture box as well. And they just announced for the horror box for April that they're going to be doing a signed knife for April everyone they've done stuff like that before where it's kind of like uh, a limited number of people could get a signed knife and i got one of those at one point but um this is a everyone will get this so anyway on to this particular box the march pop culture fan box so i'm not expecting a whole lot of extra stuff past that fine signed funko pop uh, what I do expect is a signed Funko Pop, maybe a pin, and maybe an art print, and that's it. Uh, which is totally fine with me. I don't want props, uh, especially if you saw my unboxing of the horror one. It's just props to me are just, I'm really not feeling them. And I do kind of feel like they've gotten kind of stuck into a few ruts of, of a lot of the props just not, not being all that creative. Because they had a stint where some of them were super creative and really high quality. But like the, the horror box one that I just did, not so much. And when they have continually done like the milk carton ones, like doing one of those here and there is fine. But like they've done a few of those things. Hopefully they cooled it for now, but I don't know. But I can understand it. Like when you're doing something like this, you have to be creative every single month. And sometimes you're just like not 100% on your game. You can't be super creative all the time. So and that's the other thing is these are mystery boxes. So you're going to have some down months. You're going to have up months. And that's the great thing about BAM is that I feel like I always get the up months. Like there's never, I feel like there's never a stint of more than like two months in a row where I feel like, nah, for one of the particular boxes. It's usually maybe two months that are kind of eh, and then there's something really awesome. Um, so they do a good job of kind of keeping it interesting and exciting. So, tissue paper for my cat. Oh, three. Just me excited. Love it. Okay, so I'm going to leave the Fun Funko Pop for last. Oh, got a one-up. Awesome. I got a one-up in my horror one, and that was the pin. So, let's see. Let me... Yeah, I'm going to... What is this? Oh, this is a prop? Okay. I mean, that's not... Honestly, this isn't that bad for a prop. It's okay. I was actually not expecting any prop, but um, it says Extra Life. And it is from Ready Player One, as you can see. Oh, if you if you hear my cat yelling in the background, it's because she just finished eating. And she doesn't know where I am because I just gave her the food and left. She's weird like that. She's super needy. Like, she wants attention right after she eats. But she'll probably come down here and start yelling. So my apologies if you hear that. So anyway, this uh, Ready Player One. I saw it in the theater. Uh, I enjoyed it. I didn't think it was great. Oh, you found your... She found the tissue paper. She'll be occupied. Um, I saw it in the theater. I enjoyed it, especially the part, the segment with The Shining. It's not really a spoiler because it doesn't really explain much, but the segment with The Shining is super awesome. But overall, enjoyed it. Didn't think it was 
you know, amazing, but nostalgia wise, it was a lot of fun. I don't remember if there was like an extra life coin actually in there or something, but it fits even if there wasn't. So I can see some people really liking this. Plus it's kind of heavy. It's like a coin. I'm relatively okay with props like that. Um, not really my thing. I'm probably not going to do anything with it. Might find someone to give it to. I don't know. All right, let's do the pin. The pin is by Brian Romero, who I believe, yeah, he did the pins for the horror box for the same for the same month. Uh, this one is called Five. Oh, okay, Five. Okay, now I get it. For the Fifth Element. So that's supposed to be Lilu uh, Miljovovich's character from the Fifth Element, Supreme Being. Let me see if this is one of the. No, I don't think this is my upgrade because I don't think there's a number on. Nope, there's, this one's not numbered, so this is not my upgrade. I'll be interested to see in the spoiler sheet what the other pins you could have gotten were. Um, this looks an, you know, as far as like getting detail on pins, it looks an okay amount like her. They even got like the the uh, way her hair was kind of like almost dreadlocked in the movie. I saw that movie in the theater when it initially came out. I loved it. Like I was in middle school at that point, I think. And I was, like, all about that. So that's cool to have a fifth element pin. I do like fifth element. I'll still watch it here. And that's, like, quirky, fun. All right, so the art print. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. So it's from their fan art collection. This one is titled Danvers, and it's by Anthony Goodsell. Chloe, can you knock it off, please? Play with this tissue paper. I'm sorry. It's like having a child. Legitimately like having a child. So it's Danvers by Anthony Goodsell. Oh, oh, this is nice. Oh, and I got a special one. This is my upgrade. This is uh, number 32 out of 500. I forgot they were doing a Captain Marvel thing. So look at that. That's nice. That looks really cool. That looks like, so I play, Um, I'm about to out myself as like super geeky. Um, I play the mat, like puzzle matching game, uh, Marvel Puzzle Quest on my phone. I've been playing it for over four years, which, <laughs> which is even more nerdy. And um, this actually looks like it would be one of their um, animations, or, or not animations, but like artworks for one of the cards in there, which would be really awesome. This is nice. Anthony Goodsell. Man, that looks really, really good. I like that. That's, that's a really nice art print, in my opinion. Okay, so I think the pop is going to be the last thing. Let me feel around, though, which is fine. I, that's what I expect. Okay, so here's the pop. Oh, snap. Okay. All right. Hey, man, I like this. Okay, so before I show it to you, first of all, I love the idea of doing signed Funko Pops at this point. So the fact that they're doing it again for April, I think is awesome. If they could make it something they could do quite often, I think they would sell out like every single time, and I'm all for it. I think it's really cool. Um, so I'm happy to have this. A signed Funko Pop. I don't know who the person is who played Boba Fett but signed by the dude who did Boba Fett. And thank you, Bam, because you put it in the protector ahead of time. First of all, thanks for doing a protector. That's awesome. Second of all, thank you for putting it in ahead of time because as you could see, I could have had a wet Funko Pop box, so you saved me on that one. So I know some people like to see all of it. There you go. All the way around. That's cool, man. I like that. I mean, Star Wars, come on. I like that. That's pretty cool. So let's see if there were other ones or if everyone got the same one. I think they had said that everyone was getting the same one. Um, yeah, that's what it looks like. Okay, so Fanbox Funko signing with Daniel Logan. Oh, who was young Boba Fett. Okay, that makes sense. I was like, the guy who like just played regular Boba Fett? Okay, he played the young Boba Fett. Okay, that's cool. And there you go. There's just a picture. I don't know if you really need to see it because you saw the real thing. Well, that was without so much glare. Um, you could also win a photo signed by Jeremy Bullock, who I believe played the older Boba Fett. That's the thing down there. That's a cool picture, by the way. That looks really good. And then here is the Captain Marvel with the variants. So I guess my variants, just the coloration in the background is different. Yeah, everything's the same except the background's different. And this, I, I went off about this a little bit um, with the horror box, and my cat just went crazy. 
uh, I, I went off about this a little bit with the horror box is that to me, the variance of like just changing a color in the print or just changing the background color, it's, it's not enough for me of like an actual variant. Like I want to see some sort of difference in the actual artwork. It doesn't have to be anything crazy, but just like a subtle difference or something like for this, like maybe change her outfit a little bit or something. Um, you know, for the horror ones, usually add some blood splatter. I mean, that'll be good enough, but I don't know. It's just, there's not, there's not enough of a difference. When it's just a color change, there's not enough of a difference, in my opinion, to make it be like, oh, this is something special. Because honestly, you know, I get the, um, I get the one up and I'm pretty excited because I'm like, oh, I got something that's like really special. And with the pins, there's usually that difference, except for the horror box for March. That was not the case. They just did the color differentiation thing, which I was like, don't like that idea. But, um, you know, I get that and I'm just like, oh, I'm excited because I'm going to get something different. But it's actually not different. Like this is an instance where I don't even care. I don't even care which one I would have gotten. It doesn't it, it, it matters not. Especially because I'm not going to try and resell this stuff. I know some people try and trade, so it's higher trade value because it's more limited, or people try and sell it, whatever. But I'm actually just collecting for me. Like, I want to be able to put these things on my wall. So that kind of is bothersome to me. There's just like, oh, here's just the color difference. It comes across as lazy, just like a lot of the prop stuff I was talking about just ends up coming across as lazy. And... When I say that, I know that sounds really unfair to the BAM people, and I don't mean it to come at, through that way. It's constructive criticism. Um, I love the BAM people. I think they do a great job. I think Adam MacArthur is has a tough job, and he's trying to do the best he can. He does a good job of throwing in interesting things and keeping people hyped up, but I'm just being honest with what I see in it and you know that type of stuff us fans see as being kind of lazy. So, you know, just saying it. Uh, and then the variant pins. Who is the 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 dude? I get that like opera singer alien girl, but who's the guy supposed to be? I don't even know who that's supposed to be. The out of ninety nine. Does that even look familiar to anyone? I can't even tell who that is. Duh, 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 duh. Chloe, legitimately shut up. Uh, Billy? I don't know. I don't know. That's weird. Yeah, I can't tell who that is. Which is... Is that supposed to be like Zerg or something? I don't even know. I can't tell that one. It doesn't strike me. Maybe I need to rewatch the movie. No, that doesn't make any sense to me. But anyway, this one's really cool. That would have been a cool one to get. Super iconic from the film. Everyone remembers that one. But anyway, yeah. So, um... This is an awesome step in the right direction. I love these types of things. This is super cool. Everyone who got this box should be very excited about this. Bam, you did awesome with this. Adam MacArthur, great idea. That makes the box worth it for everyone in my opinion. Um, and I mean the art, like I said, the art print looks really good. The art print looks really good. I just have that issue of, you know, if you're gonna say something's a variant, just changing the color's not enough, but the art print looks awesome. It looks really good. Anthony, good sell. Good job, buddy. And then Brian Romero, doing a good job. I like the fifth element. I like the likeness to Mila Jovovich in this, and it looks good. Anyway, um, oh, and I was actually, you know, okay with the prop, which is not common for me, because I don't like me with the props. But uh, thank you everyone for checking this out. Please help me out. Subscribe here. You can see all my videos. I'm mainly doing a lot of horror stuff, but if I can get enough subscribers and I can eventually monetize what's going on here, then I will add more boxes at people's recommendation because then I'll have a stream of income to put back into that stuff. I only have an idea to grow the channel so that I can put any money I would get out of the channel, if I get to the right amount of subscribers, I would put all that money right back into the channel of like doing unboxings. So that's pretty much it. So uh, it's all just for more content. Anyway, uh, hit that subscribe. Let's talk about this box and other nerdy stuff below. Give me a thumbs up. And until next time, keep it brutal.